Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. I'm Kid Icarus. Welcome to the second channel, Candy's Conundrums, and welcome to the show on this channel known as Regarding, where I just sit here and ramble for a couple of minutes about anything. This time, I am going to try using this without any cuts whatsoever. Can't promise it's going to be any good, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to go a bit more vloggy with this one, be a bit more confident with my sentences. Either way, this episode of Regarding is going to be about um, the Battle of the Spider-Men. Um, so, um, I, I was hearing a lot of stuff, people are talking a lot about Andrew Garfield um, recently, and I think there was something to do with him losing the part of Spider-Man from now on from Sony or something. I'm not entirely sure what the details were, but people have been talking about it nonetheless. And even if I've got that wrong, that's not the point of this video. So, what I was basically going to talk about is the differences between Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Well, I don't know about you guys, I will always be a Tobey Maguire guy. I, Andrew Garfield is charming and he's cool and I like him, but he isn't Spider-Man, he isn't Peter Parker, he's not, he isn't that character. And there are many reasons for that, and well, I mean, the first time you ever, well, the, like the first scenes that you see Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker, he's a skateboarder, he dresses trendily, he's good with girls. That's not Peter Parker. That's not Peter Parker. That's just something for all the teenage girls in the audience to uh, give them a reason to go and see the movie. No, that's not Peter Parker. He's not, uh, he, okay, he's not the most confident of people with his speaking, but he's more confident than most people. So, immediately, the believability of the character isn't there. When, uh, when, um, sorry, when um, Andrew Garfield is Spider-Man, though, he's cocky. He's very quick thinking, very, um, very talkative, very... Um, very, very sassy as Spider-Man, and I do think that probably Andrew Garfield has the better Spider-Man because of that, in terms of the differences between the two characters, but then the problem is Spider-Man himself, by Andrew, is so similar to Peter Parker in terms of his characteristics and his behaviours, it's almost like there's no, there's no point. Even though I do think that Andrew Garfield is a great Spider-Man, I don't think that. Basically, Tobey Maguire, for me, is where that shit is at. Um, okay, I'm sure that um, there'll be many debates about the like attractiveness factor or anything like that, um, and all that kind of stuff, but the main point is, Peter Parker is a social outcast, he is a nerd, he is very, very, very into his science and his books, he is the most nervous and inconfident person in the high school that he's at, and that's what Peter Parker should be, and that's what Tony Maguire does perfectly. When he's Spider-Man, he's the, the nervousness is still there, but he's much more confident. But that's the, the that's the thing. Spider-Man and Peter Parker from Toby are completely well, not completely different, but they're more different than Andrew Garfield. You can tell with Toby that when he puts the suit on, he is different. He is a different person with different behaviours, different confidence. Uh, uh, like a, a sharper thinking mind, he's stronger. He's a different person as Spider-Man. I mean, even Spider-Man Three when he kisses um, what's her face? Um, was it Gwen? I can't remember. But she, he kisses somebody. It's a different person in that suit. It's a completely different person. And this is where I'm actually. That was basically my initial opinion. But what I'm going to do now is talk about the movie that nobody fucking liked, and that's going to be Spider-Man Three. I'm one of the people that likes Spider-Man 3. Fucking shoot me, I don't care. It's a fun movie. There's a lot of things wrong with it, but it's a fun movie. And by a third movie in the series, I suppose that was kind of the idea. If they just took Venom out and worked out... I mean, the Sandman scenes are fucking awesome. His origin story and the, when he becomes the Sandman... There's so much good shit in that movie. People don't give it credit for. They just focus on the bad stuff. But what I'm going to do now is talk about the bit that everyone seems to remember about Spider-Man 3, and that is when Peter goes basically emo, swifts his hair, tries to go all trendy, and then there's the infamous scene of him walking down the street with some, <laughs> like, jazzy fucking upbeat music. Um, now here's the, th that, many people would call that a bad scene, many, many people feel uncomfortable watching that scene, many people think it's horrific that scene. People think that's not what Tobey Maguire should be doing. That's a complete miscast. That's a complete missing... Do you know what? I, I don't know. No. No. Well, first of all, you're supposed to feel uncomfortable watching that scene. That's how you're supposed to feel. That scene is not supposed to be taken as a joke. It's not supposed to be taken as anything like that. It's, it's uncomfortable. 
Peter is changing in that movie, and what that movie is trying to do, even though Black Suit Spider-Man and Venom are very cool, the movie is about telling you, the audience, being bad isn't good. Why is being bad not very good? Because you look like fucking Peter in that scene. Why would you want that scene to be to be good, like, to be very, very well done. Why would you want that scene to be less uncomfortable to watch? Why would you want that scene not to be in the movie? What that scene exists for is telling the audience, look, Peter is turning bad. And being bad isn't fucking cool. Look at him. He's a complete dick splash. Look at him. Watch that fucking scene. And that's what the movie is about. Being bad isn't cool. It's showing you that when Peter is changing, not only is he being more evil and a bit of an arse than usual, but he is just, on every level, everything is going fucking downhill in terms of his personality. You're supposed to feel uncomfortable watching that scene. I will defend that scene. I, I, I will defend that scene, because that's what it's there for. You're not it, The movie is not telling you, oh, Black Suit Spider-Man and Venom are cool, so you should look like that and you should behave like this. They're still villains. And when Peter is kind of transitioning into this villain, you get that scene, and then that kind of throws everything into perspective at you. You don't want to be Black Suit Spider-Man anymore. You want him to be Spider-Man again. You don't want him to be Black Suit anymore. And that's the point. That's what you should be thinking. So, okay, well, rant over about that. Um, for many reasons like that, that is why I think Toby is the superior Spider- like Spider-Man in general. I think that Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, apart from Amazing Spider-Man 2, the, the beginning of that fucking movie, I don't like that film at all anyway, but the beginning of that movie when there's that car, that, there's, 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 there's that car chase in the beginning, and he's just fucking on the side of this truck, and everybody is getting, like, there's buildings getting wrecked, cars being destroyed, and he's fucking there chatting with the guy, being cool and being sassy like he always fucking is. Spider-Man doesn't do that. Spider-Man takes action and he would have sorted out that crime in seconds, not fuck around with the villain and let other, other innocent people get endangered. That, that entire intro of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is bullshit as far as I'm concerned. Apart from that though, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man as Spider-Man is good. Very good. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is good, not as good as Andrew's, but the difference between Spider-Man and Peter Parker is better, and I think Peter Parker is a stronger Peter Parker with Toby playing him. Um, and that is basically where I stand on this debate, so I hope that, well, I, I, I'm wondering what you guys think. I mean, you guys share your opinions and um, all that stuff. Go down to the comments and tell me what you think. It's only my opinion after all, but um, yeah, I just felt like I had to kind of say that. So um, this video has been regarding the Battle of the Spider-Man. I am Caddy and I'm fucking signing off. Pfft.